Go to T1. Go to T2. We just lost overbite. Overbite. And that's not good, is it? That's not good. Okay, so you have to fix that. Okay. So let's start from here and we're going to try and get this vertical right. Let's look at our super, and this is going to show me at T2 whether there's intrusion or extrusion of the posteriors. And what I'm seeing is maybe a slight vertical extrusion, especially on the sevens, right? Which I really want to control. Mm -hmm. And let's look at the lower arch in the vertical sense. Now I know we've got an E here. Again, I don't want extrusion at all. Okay, I don't want to see white on the occlusal surface of a case that is mildly vertical. Okay, now I'm looking at my sagittal. Let's look at T1, T2. I think it's all right. I just mm -hmm. think, again, you're missing attachments here. You have, uh, I think it's the, the lower incisors are coming forward. They're being thrown forward. You've got to control it. Look at that. You look at T1. Yeah. T2. Yeah. It's being thrown forward. Out. Yeah, they're coming it's, out. Yeah, despite the fact you've done 0.5 millimeter IPR yeah. in the lower arch, it's still getting thrown forward. And what are we seeing here on the, let's look at the one, two, 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 right? The two, two, sorry. The upper left lateral incisor. Let's look at the root. T1, we've got it in crossbite. T2, crossbite, mm. but where's the root? Gone back. We haven't added buccal labial torque. root torque, right? We mm. haven't prescribed it how I would fix it. Firstly, my vertical. Now, sometimes I'm just not going to bother with the changes with the technician because there's too many. Okay. So what I would be doing is starting to edit and I'd be grouping my, uh, firstly, the one seven. Look, it's actually flaring and extruding. So I want to be, and these are difficult movements and it takes me a long time to do them. Okay. But I'm actually going to intrude it. I don't want, and I want to add buccal root talk, if anything, on it. I want to intrude it. Buccal root talk. And then it needs to be intruded, if anything, not extruded. So your job was to get it set up so good that you didn't have to do half of this. Okay. Mm -hmm. We said getting this right, that right, okay? Yeah. I just don't like, I think there's more extrusion in the lower. Definitely, I don't want these lowers extruding. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. I have to do it one at a time. So two at a time. I don't want extrusion here at all. If anything, I want a bit of intrusion. That's how I want. Okay. <laughs> You never try to extrude in an open bite case. This one, we're going to click and say, do not move. Okay. Unmovable. You can't move that. There's hardly any vertical movement now, isn't it? That's, yeah. you can argue that's minimal. Okay. What are you going to say to this one also? Do not move. Do not move. Okay. You have to just make it unmovable. Now I've got to bring these down. They're all very high up. We can't have it so high up. This is really where you want to end up, isn't it? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, and so he is going to need anterior attachments. Whenever there's a minimal overbite, they need all anterior attachments. Look at the root position. So that's why if you don't have root vis visualizations turned on, you can't mm. see these things, okay? Now, I'm not saying that root movements happen, but you've got to at least build them in. If you don't even yeah. build them, how are they going to happen? True. Okay, so basically, I want to tuck this in. I'm just going to go to the crown here, which is hard to do. It's already showing you IPR, yeah? Lack IPR of IPR already, yeah. Yeah, so if I do this, see how? Yeah. Only ways in size of proclination. And uh, I'm going to turn this on. You have to build it this much. 50% doesn't happen. Yeah. 
Okay, let's go here. Let's bring this down. I don't like it. You got to get the edges right. Yeah. Now I can't really tell the technician all these little things. All these things. Right? So you right. have to do it yourself. Now I'm kind of seeing, you know, I'm still not very happy with the final positions, but the general plan is right now, the first set is about the general plan. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's looking reasonably okay. Now, since there is extrusion built in my 1121, I do have to add an attachment. Okay. And what's mm. the extrusion attachment? Horizontal. Perfect. So we're just going to add it here. We're going to add it here as well. Okay. And then obviously, where is a good position to put them on that tooth? More towards the inside of third. Can you tell me why? Yeah, I read it. That's very important, actually. Yeah. Uh, because the plastic doesn't deform as much incisally as it would do. Perfect. Gingerly. It's more rigid, yeah? The more plastic rigid, yeah. more rigid occlusally. There's less distortion. Yeah. There's a better transfer of force around that area. So mm -hmm. we've also put there, yeah? There's significant root movement on that canine, yeah? Yeah. We're actually not significant. In fact, it was worsening before. Now... Um, I think there's a lot of rotation built into this. I'm not going to worry about the rotation. I just prefer on a premolar, put horizontal over vertical. Okay. Okay. Always, because it's a, such a tiny tooth. Even for rotation? Yeah, I prefer that. Okay. Okay, so... So here we have to bring this up a little bit because we're losing overbite, okay? So I would say a little bit here. And then it's okay to not, that needs an attachment, yeah? Yeah. That needs an attachment. So the one, the one seven should have an attachment. We put root movement there. Again, mm -hmm. don't do too many of these verticals. Do horizontals, okay? You're wasting. Okay. Yeah, on a molar, especially you've got this cusp and I would just do horizontals, okay? Especially okay. with, yeah. Verticals are more for mesial distalizing. Now, it's looking a bit better, okay? Uh, let's have a look now. Yeah, maybe we remove this. Yeah, a little bit less here, maybe a tiny bit here on the upper arch. Also, mm. you're going to expect black triangles on those one, two, two, two. They one, are going two, to two, happen. Two. Yeah, I want them. Yeah, so now the midline looks a bit more even. You're going to get here as well. Might as well do some IPR. And let's look at T1, T2. There's already a black triangle pre-treatment. Mm. So a little bit of IPR just to reduce the black triangle. You don't know need a lot, okay? But just a bit, okay? You can start with point one, and you can always do a little bit more if needed. Okay. Um, right. So we've got this. Now class three elastic. Class three elastic. I think I would do it light sparing class three elastic because we've got to move it from here to there. Mm. Now you can see, you can see how much. Yeah. Look at the palatal root torque on the upper. Mm. Yeah, that's confirmation. Yeah. Now lowers and kind of almost staying where they are, aren't they? Look at the lower they side. They are. Yeah. They're kind of staying where they are. So that's not a bad thing. Let's add class three. Right. They put a button cut out. Mm. Instead of button, I'm going to put a hook. Right, so they put the hooks here for us already and then a button cut out. I'm actually going to put a hook. So let's put a hook here. And I'll tell you why, because, uh, so not distal hook, let's do command Z, undo. Uh -oh. So we want a mesial hook. We could do an integrated hook too, but let's just do this, okay? So it's on the plastic and they'll adjust that. They'll adjust the attachment and all of that. Okay. Okay? Let's do the mesial hook. The reason I said hook to hook is very rare is because I don't think this person needs class three elastic more than just night time. So okay. when they're sleeping at night, it's easier to just have a hook to hook. They just put it on. Just put during it on. the day when they're wearing class three elastics, it's hook to hook. Sometimes they'll just keep pinging off. 
okay and it keeps storing the elastic as the patient is talking so patients talking you know um yawning during the day whatever they're doing chewing to it keeps pinging off it's mm -hmm. very annoying i don't like hook to hook but okay. if it's just for nighttime wear, so already I know his class three elastic knee is just nighttime wear. And and uh, maybe just for this one set, mm -hmm. I'm going to look at this. Okay, so now let's look at our occlusion, right? Let's look at our occlusion. Uh, we got, yeah, a bit of intrusion mm -hmm. here. Good. Still, I could do a bit more, but better than before. I think the mm -hmm. uh, it's better than before, right? Okay, so... Yeah. He's not a raging open. I see how much extrusion we have to do of the yeah. center. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. We have to, otherwise we're losing overbite because there's too much crowding. The other option is you can do a bit of a bit more IPR up, 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 a bit more expansion, but leave it at this for now. Okay, okay. leave it at this. I think, and look at the amount of movement. Look at mm. the amount of movement on this, and I don't like the position of that attachment. It's a bit off. You want it to be a bit more central. I think because it was rotated to begin with. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe in a second set, you'll have to change its position. Change it. okay? It's significant. Now, you can, You there's no way 25 aligners. I'd be asking 40 aligners here. Okay. You can do something is you can actually um, add like a um, button cut out here. Okay. okay. And a button cut out down the bottom here. Okay. And the patient has to wear from here, from the five to the six, they have to wear a cross elastic. And usually they can't wear that during the day, at least at mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. I would actually make them do that. Okay. So I would say, look, just at night, put an elastic here. So I'm going to click here and I'm just going to put a button cut out. Again, you don't have to bond it but I'm going to put a button cut out on this. Where is it? I think it won't let me. Oh, sorry. So let's do a uh, remove because I didn't specify where I want it. Let's remove that. We want to specify it's lingual, right? The button I want lingual. Yeah. So why don't I have to bond it? I'll explain later. Okay. You don't have to bond it, but I would do it. Okay. I'm putting it right now. Okay. okay. You don't have to bond it if patient's not going to wear it, but patient most likely will wear it. If you can convince and say, it's a bit annoying, this, this type of elastic, I'll be honest. Okay, it's called a cross elastic. And I think I would actually put the button more here, right? All the patient has to do is at night, put a elastic here, okay? Bring it around. So put the aligners on, put the elastic second, and then bring it, swing it from the upper arch to here. Okay. Okay, S-shaped. It's called a cross elastic. Okay, cross elastic. It helps to fix the cross bite in an adult. Okay. And if even if the patient just wore it at night, maybe a rabbit from Omco. Okay, I'm happy with this one. I'm okay. simply going to upload this. And I'm going to tell the technician something. I'm going to say I've uploaded my changes 1.2 and uh, please maintain them. Do not change anything. Just simply post 40 upper and lower aligners. 